So good morning, everyone. And today's our day three of Medicine of the Feminine. And we're going to get started. We're going to do a little bit of a process this morning, um, an activation. And uh, I'm going to do an invocation to, to begin that process. <clears throat> so just allow yourself to just receive, just kind of feel into the energy, feel into your body as we do this. So just taking a deep breath here. And just let yourself connect with um, your heart and connect with your intention for today, for this time together. And just take a couple of minutes in silence to do that. And then I'm actually going to read something as you're still in the space. And this is a poem called, I have come, I am here. I have come from beyond time, but have always been here. I am the voice of the elder medicine woman. I hold the thread of primordial light that has been forgotten throughout the generations. I am the one that holds circles of women, making them remember the true medicine within. I am the one that helps us return through the voice of our being. I have come to remind you of the love that seems lost in the stories of your time, but yet lies dormant within all forms of creation. I have come to speak of those things, truly no thing, that which has been forbidden. I have come to lift the veils and show you the one true reality. I have come to share with you the way of the shamana, 
the mystic, the true medicine woman. I am she who weaves the new story into creation with a thread of primordial light. I have come, I am here within you and you are me. Mm. So just taking some breaths into that and just noticing where that resonates in your being. And what opens up for you from that space? From those sounds? Yeah. And so as we move into um, doing this uh, next phase, which is the activation, a CFM activation, we are going to, um, I'm going to walk you through setting ritual space and your protective space. Um, I know that feeling safe is important to us, as we've, you know, touched upon in the last few days, feeling safe is a really important piece. And so it's really important that when we are working with the inner dimensions and the ethereal dimensions and the spirit world, that we feel safe and that we create the ritual safety that is needed so that we can allow ourselves to let go and to merge with the spiritual dimension, you know, more and more with our own spiritual um, places within ourselves and the greater, you know, the greater uh, dimensions outside of ourselves. So, um, so in lieu of that, let's, um, we're going to do a process to actually, as we're in, you know, this meditative state, we're going to invite, invite ourselves to connect with the great mother, with source. We're just going to say that to ourselves. And that primordial essence of love. And really see that as a as an as a field that encompasses all, including the cosmos, including the planets, including everything that your mind can conceive of. Right. So just connecting with source, with the great mother, with that primordial mother energy field that gives birth to everything. Just giving yourself a minute to do that. And if normally, you know, you connect through other um, other spiritual beings, other deities, other you know, you can do that as well, but my invitation is for you to connect directly with source and just have, like, just start to really cultivate that connection in this way, or maybe continue, you know, if it's something that you've done before, or some of you it has. And so just notice as you're just inviting and setting that intention to connect with the Great mother of all, the one that births and sustains us and has birthed everything into creation. And then we're going to ask 
we have a sense of that, we're going to just breathe into that. And then we're going to now ask to connect to our great mother line, the ancient women on our lineage, ancient women, ancestors that are on our lineage, mother line, right? All the women that are in the light, that are carrying the wisdom and that are in the light. So we're not talking about the recent dead. We're talking about those that have passed and probably thousands of years ago that are our ancestral mother line, that were the medicine women, and that are completely healed and in the light, that are the wisdom keepers. And if that feels safe to you, you can ask to connect to that aspect of the ancient wisdom keepers in your lineage all the way back. And asking um, the great mother that we connected with first, asking the great mother to clear your field and to make sure that nothing comes into your field that isn't for your highest good, that isn't of the light. that isn't fully healed. And then actually we're going to do another step in with the great mother. We're going to also ask that she not only clear our field completely, everything that's in our field that doesn't serve us. In our field, I envision three to five to eight feet out from our physical body. So more like a cocoon in a way or a womb space all around you. And just feeling that light coming down, feeling that light moving down from the field of the great mother, from that cosmic womb. You can feel yourself in that protective energy, having your field completely cleared. And then asking the great mother to create a protective energy around you in that field, in that womb space, that doesn't allow anything in. And asking the great mother to hold that in place for you so that you don't have to do it. And of course the great mother does that, you know, in many ways, because this is a field of source and there's many intermediaries we might see as guides and angels and light beings holding that space. But we are working directly with the great mother right now. We're gonna come back to our sense ancestral lineage. Just take a minute to feel that And continuing to ask for that until you feel safe, until you feel like you're in a cocoon of light, until you feel that protective layer around you. And as you do that, I'm going to actually do um, the invocation to the Great Mother and the prayer of light. 
out of Lahim and a Shaitani regime. Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Hira Bela Lameen, Arakaman Rahim, Malakiyom Edeen, Yakana Budu, Ayakana Sain, Dina Sarata Mustakim, Sarata Ladina and Alehem, Bail Matu via Lehem Wala Tale. Dear Mother, I bow my head, heart, and womb to you, for you, for the creatrix and the creation. From your womb, the 10,000 things are born. I ask that you bring me close to you, awaken me, keep me in your flow of divine grace. Hold me in your ecstatic presence where all veils are dissolved, leaving only your whispering truth as my teacher. Let me drink from your cup of mercy and merge with you into the annihilation of my being forever and ever, dear mother. It feels like there's a strong field of protection for each person here and for the group. And so now we can continue. If you feel comfortable, we can ask our ancestral mother line, the wisdom keepers, the ancient mother line. So we're going all the way back. Those that are guiding us, those that are serving as our guides, they can, um, you can ask for them to show up outside of your field. And again, you know, you pace yourself and see if this feels safe for you. And if not, you can ask the, the great mother and the light beings to, to clear your field all around you again. And we keep doing that to create safety. And maybe there's one, one that can be a representative as a guide of your ancient mother line. In the Proto-Celtic, it's called Matirja, M-A-T-I-R-J-A. -A. Matirja is your mother line, sacred mother line. Maybe there's one representative, one feminine wisdom keeper, and she and be your guide. And so just see who shows up for you. And let yourself feel, feel her. And when you feel comfortable, you can ask if there's if there's a message that she wants to share with you about your ancient mother line, about your ancient, about the ancient wisdom keepers of your ancestors. Is there a message for you? What would she like to share with you?
Mm. Just allow yourself to listen and to feel. You might hear something, you might feel it, you might um, just know it. And you might just feel calm or feel something bubbling up within you. You might actually see a being, or you might see light, or you might see an image of a rose. Just letting yourself perceive in all of these ways. There's no right, there's no wrong. And if she feels comfortable to you, if she feels comfortable to you, then go ahead and ask for a blessing from your ancestral mother line, from the ancient ones. Ask for a blessing. And just let yourself receive that. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can ask for a blessing from the great mother directly, the primordial mother. Just take a minute, letting that all integrate in your being. Making sure that your feet are on the ground or you're feeling your root if you're sitting on something that, that your feet aren't touching the floor, let your root your sitting bones feel connected to the earth. Beautiful. And then we're going to actually from here do the activation, one of the CFM activation. We're going to do that with sound. And um, I'll lead you through. So let yourself, again, feel your feet on the floor or feel your root, your sitting bones on the surface, really rooting into the earth from your, from your root chakra, feeling your energy moving all the way down into the earth. to the center of the earth. And then feeling that exchange, feeling the earth's energy also coming up to greet you. And then from your crown, top of your head, letting that open up to all of the Cosmic energies, cosmic light from the Great Mother. So essentially, we are kind of like in receiving the Earth, the Earth's energy, the support of the Earth through our root, through our feet, through the earth. 
And then if you kind of back up a little bit more, you could see that the earth is really being supported by the great mother as well, right? Because the earth is receiving the cosmic frequencies of the great mother, primordial essence. We're just have receiving it because we're in this physical body in this plane. And so we're receiving it a support filtered through the earth. And then we can receive through our crown as well and letting that light come in. And so in a way that is also activates our yin and yang circuits within us. And that's the yin light and the yang light. It's all the light of primordial essence. Just breathing that in. And then we're going to bring our awareness to our root center and bring your hands as close to your root as possible. So like right in front of your yoni right in front of um a part of your body and we're just gonna stay here for a minute and just breathe and we're gonna breathe in and out through our nose and in our root we have glands in our root that aren't even labeled that aren't even named believe it or not and um we just want to activate we're going to be activating all of our chakras so we're going to do the breath in and out through our nose which is the earth breath and whatever pace you're at And then we're going to sound three times the sound for the root. And then I'm going to take you up through all of the chakras. Ooh. This is very low, the lowest sound that you're comfortable making in this vowel sound. Oh. One more time. Oh. And then just breathing in silence. Integration. And then we're going to bring our hands up to our sacral womb space, which is our lower abdomen, like about a couple of inches from our um, umbilicus, from our belly button. Bringing our hands there, really tuning into our ovaries and to this space of the ocean mother. And we're going to breathe in through our nose and breathe out through our mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth.
And then we're going to move into the woo sound that we did yesterday. And the three of those. Really focusing on activating the sacral chakra, our womb space, and our ovaries. We're going to be focusing on the glands today. Ooh. Ooh. A few more breaths in silence, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then we're going to move to our solar plexus, which is our um, right between our heart center and our um, sacral center. So it's right in between. It's putting, bringing our hands there. And we're going to focus on the adrenals, just acknowledging that the adrenals are connected to the space and the breath is the fire breath and the element is the fire element and the mother is the dragon mother and so breathing in is going to be breathing in and out through your mouth and we're going to do let's do a little bit of an active breath here so it's going to just be in and out through your mouth um sounding like this okay so let's do that and then we'll do the sound And then moving into the sound, which is the, the O sound. O. O. Oh. And just breathing through your mouth, in and out, through your mouth, in silence for a couple of minutes for integration. And now we're going to bring our hands to our heart. 
the center of our chest. And we're gonna bring our awareness to our thymus gland. And the breath is going to be in through your mouth and out through your nose. So in through the mouth, out through the nose. So let's practice that. And we're going to gently move into the sound of the heart, which is the ah sound. Do three of those. Ah. Ah. Uh, back to our breath. Beautiful, and now we're gonna move into our throat. In our throat, you can bring your hands and kind of wrap them around your neck or bring it in front and in back, which is um, also another way to, to touch and activate. Remember, there's a lot of light and energy that's moving through you already, so it's another way of activating and using your hands for healing. Mm. And the throat breath is also in and out through your nose. However, um, we call it the lunar breath. And it's in and out through your nose. But as you're moving the sound out, you kind of like hit that back of your throat and it kind of sounds a little raspy, right? So it's it's a very activating breath, but it's not fast. It's going to sound like this. So it's just making that exhale and inhale, especially the exhale, audible, okay? So let's try it. And this, of course, is um, activating the throat to the thyroid. 
the thyroid and the parathyroid glands in the throat, and much more because there's so much more to that throat, which I'm sure most of you know. Um, and we're going to do the sound of I, I for the throat. I'll do that three times. So breathing in. I. Ah. Uh, Going back to the breath. Beautiful. And then we're going to come to our third eye. And our third eye, we can bring our hands in front of our eyes and cross our pinkies. And then this breath is a seven, seven breath, which we're going to do seven counts in and seven counts out. Right. And we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our nose. Seven in and seven out. So I'll let you keep your count so that it's not confusing. And let's start with the with the breath. And this is uh, mainly our pituitary, also affecting our pineal gland, activating our head wound. And then we're going to continue with the sound A for the third eye chakra. A. Coming back to your breath.
And now we're going to move into our crown chakra. So we can place our hands there. We feel comfortable just bringing our hand, right hand, and then left over right. Hmm. And this breath is the seven, seven, it's called seven, seven extended, which is we're going to breathe in seven and then exhale seven, like we just did. But then we're going to extend. So the next one will be eight. The next one will be nine. The next one will be 10. And just seeing up to where you're comfortable. And in in time, we will actually see yourself expand the capacity of your breath, which is pretty powerful, but we're not forcing anything. We're just doing it slowly. So just increasing it up till you feel your capacity and then you can stay there for, you know, however long we do the breath for. We're not doing it that long, so. Okay, so we start with seven, seven, and then we'll go to eight, to nine, 10, et cetera. Breathing in. Oh, and we want to um, bring our awareness to um, the hypothalamus and the pineal gland and the activation of that in our body. All right, and moving into sound with an E at whatever your highest is right now that's comfortable and organic, whatever highest tone. E. Hmm, just taking a deep breath. I'm just feeling your whole body now. Just noticing. Noticing what's happening in your body. In your mind, in your emotions, in your thoughts. And then bringing your awareness all the way down into your root again and into the earth. Let's ground all of that. Ground all that energy. And then if you can, if you feel comfortable, I want you to stand up. See if I can bring the camera with me. Stand up 
And I want you to feel your feet on the floor. Just feel your feet, <laughs> like a little marching. And then just do a little bit of the shaking, kind of like really connecting with the earth, really connecting with your root chakra, bringing all of that into integration on the physical level, in the physical body. And just, you know, do you see my head or you see my body? <laughs> I'm just shaking, not violently, just shaking kind of comfortably, just kind of letting the movement and the vibrations all come in through your whole body, all of the cells, and they can all get a taste of all that activating light that we just opened up. And normally we would do something with the drum, but if you all had drums, you can also just move with your drum. You make sure that you're okay. Move a little bit, just right in your space. Coming into rhythm. Ah. Okay, all right, and for the sake of time, <laughs> we're going to come back. Yeah, you feel your whole body, your whole self, and, and stay, you know, stay in that really deep place that you're in. Uh, you know, it's like an integration, right? You can integrate it and still stay, like we don't have to leave that yummy feeling that hopefully most of you activated within you. Oh. So um, yeah, just taking a moment to notice the, the difference of where you are now, what's shifted, what's moved versus where you were when you came in. And just noticing no good, no bad. Just noticing. Yeah, and I'm going to um, open it up for the group. So I'm going to pause. Yeah. And again, just really feel what, what this stirs up in you, you know? Uh, because we're you know, our written word, our spoken word is, you know, also a transmission and an activation. Mm. Is everybody hearing me okay? The microphone all the way back there. Okay. This one's called, I am a woman. I am a woman, a sister to many, mother to all. I have been revered in the past as a well of wisdom, a bridge, a bridge between worlds of birth and death. I live. A friend to the moon and a lover of the cosmos, I am. I am birthed in the image of the great primordial mother, birther of creation. The time of the feminine lunar era is upon us again. The revival from its 5,000 years of darkness. I am a woman, and yet in this darkness, we have been told we are filthy, too sexual, too sensual, too problematic, forced to carry the sin of humanity, eating the apple after all, causing the damnation of us all. I am a woman. Yes, society has not deemed me equal, 
Yet I see another world, one in which there are no wars and no woman is left to carry the burden. A world where little girls are celebrated rather than discarded. A world where women are cherished as holy and sacred rather than abused, neglected, and oppressed. I am a woman. My world is full of kindness, love, and community for all. No isolation, no competition between me and you. There is plenty. I do not have to be afraid or feel ashamed, for no one is blaming me or judging me. My body safe from harm, I walk safely amongst my sisters, and my brothers respect me, knowing there is no provoking dogma, provoking dogma that persecutes me. I am encouraged, supported, and valued as an essential being of creation, no more, no less than you. I am a woman. I stand on the shoulders of those who battled before me. My heart breaks with the pain they have endured, for they have lived in that other world of patriarchy, persecution, and misogyny. The world where women have no voice, where their very bodies are objects of exploitation. I am a woman living in both worlds, every day breaking through the invisible, invis invisible walls of torture still present in your world. I am free, your narrative no longer living in me. Fears do not keep me from speaking my truth. The unspoken, the taboo, and the cruelty witnessed. For every woman has a right to be safe in her body, to express freely, to live at peace in her world. And to the hundreds of thousands that have already died at your hands or through the mobs you have emboldened, being called witches or demons or evil ones, do you realize all of humanity has been birthed through a woman? I am a woman. We have lived at your mercy, begging for salvation, yet this has been no living at all. Some deaths are worth dying for, for there is no living without our whole selves. This is a death sentence far greater than you could have ever imposed upon us. I am a woman, a bridge from the past to the future, living in the present, breaking down the worlds within me and within you, no longer room for their existence. We are a new generation of women reclaiming a place that has been forgotten, a secret that has been hidden, a sacredness that has been malevolently obscured, speaking here for all before me. I am a woman healing, holy yet radical, mystical yet ordinary, vulnerable yet fierce, magical yet mundane, sacred yet resilient, ecstatic, yet sensitive, wild, yet peaceful, passionate, worthy, unapologetic. Blessed be. All right, so, ah, taking a deep breath. I always, I always uh, wonder where it's gonna hit me the the tears and and it did at the end yeah so i want to thank all of you for coming and for being part and for those that will be listening thank you very much and many blessings to all and peace yeah